Hello friends, I'm Varun Vora and welcome to my channel IT with Varun to master the fundamentals. Friends, as we are making progress on our ITGC journey and in this journey so far we have covered privilege access, terminations and new user testing across all key layers of application servers and databases. I got a few requests and questions related to privilege access area so I decided to cover it in a separate video today as many of you will have similar questions and it is important to understand these concepts for any risk security compliance or audit assessment and the, co and the topic or question we have today is related to system accounts or non-person accounts what is the reason behind the existence of system accounts how and why they are created what kind of privileges they may have so mostly system accounts they get created when an application server or database is installed and it's done or they are they exist for a reason that they help provide an access to the system it's like a doorway to the system when the system is first installed now because these system accounts are created while installation by default they are what we call super user accounts so they have privileges beyond a regular user they have almost all privileges for that system be it application server or database as it is something which is required to roll out the system get it up and running unless these accounts are logged or disabled after installation they always remain a high risk for the system from a privilege access standpoint or a risk standpoint one more thing to remember friends is such system accounts are also used to create other non-person accounts with specific privileges because these system accounts are are so powerful as I said earlier they're super user accounts they have the ability to create other accounts with a bit lower privileges and it's those accounts those non-person accounts are created for specific purposes like for example to make them more accessible to a broader team um, in case the team is not required to have full privileges in the system you can have you can create another account and grant it a subset of the full privileges and that's how it fulfills the purpose I have listed a couple of examples here for those like if you talk about sys account in Oracle database it has full DBA privileges we can very well create another non-person account using the sys account in Oracle and we can assign lesser privileges to that account let's say for an example we created an account sys underscore dummy and we provided that account with insert and update privileges on few tables and this can be easily done using the super user account like sys account in in the database another example is the root account in Linux and Unix server it has super user privileges everybody who understands Linux Unix will completely align around the fact that root is the most powerful account we can create another non-person account like in this case I created an account named root underscore dummy which has the ability to run a subset of privileges like certain commands on certain host and I've already discussed how to test the non-person accounts in detail across all key layers in my privilege access testing on what needs to be done when you come across a non-person account and you're testing privilege access for an application server or database so please watch those videos for better understanding around the testing pieces just to recap the question was around the system accounts why they are created what kind of privileges they have so the, the obvious reason is mostly the system accounts get created with installation it helps in the rollout of the system that's the reason they exist they are high risk unless locked or disabled and this is a very important point which also emphasizes the fact that we test the non-person accounts in a very different way 
in the privilege access testing in the bigger scheme of things that's where the risk is because it helps create other privilege accounts as well these super user accounts have broader rational to exist so you can yes they they come with this installation they're high risk but at the same time you can create other non-person accounts which are similar in nature but with a subset of privileges so that is the whole reason we have these system accounts in the environment I hope the video helped in understanding the non-person accounts area which falls in privilege access control area under ITGC category of logical access friends as you go through my videos and try to understand these concepts if you have more such questions or comments please reach out through the YouTube comment section as I make sure I go through each and every comment and respond I'll be more than happy to create separate videos like this one as required if it helps you all for better understanding okay. please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already and join me in this risk security audit and compliance journey thanks for listening see you next time till then bye